always kept that on my, you know. Yes, but now I'm unemployed, so maybe I should have gone with all that other stuff. You're not really unemployed. You're You're building your brand. You're building your brand. (laughs) Okay. And you look good. Oh, thank you. And that's really all that matters. I'm trying to like keep my. I'm trying to keep my my social, my my beautiful, and my financial wits about me (laughs) as I. How do you not eat your kids' food off their plate? So here, you want to know how I do that? My favorite was the mac and cheese. My favorite is when I make them a grilled cheese, the, oh, yeah, the like cheese that. that's on the Ooh, crust, like right? That. When they don't eat the crust, which I, it's crazy, With the and it's cheese, melted on, on and, the, and some of it's hard. That's my oh, weakness. So or well, I'll make blueberry pancakes, oh. and they'll eat like four bites and leave like uh, it's all wrong. It's, everything is wrong. Um, it's wrong. <laughs> all of it. We're talking to Susan Krakauer. Do you uh, you have one kid, right? I have one. 15 He's fifteen. Old boy. Yeah. But yeah, th- this is what how I don't eat their 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 leftovers, their scraps, <laughs> if you will. I took one day and I calorie counted the amount of calories in all the scraps. I call them scraps because if I call it real that's food, that's very good. That's and at good the analytics. end of the day, good analytics. Listen, and if someone goes, no analytics. That was one. And one day I saved it's myself terrible. like eight hundred calories in crap. In pizza crust, in like a, a, a fish that's stick. That's a great blog post. And, that's yeah. a great blog post because ah, who knows? Like a little bit here and a little bit there. People feel like if it fits in the palm of your hand, how bad can it be? But you have nine palms of those. So you have girls, and you'll always have leftovers. Oh, you bo- uh, always. There's not. There, if I take one scoop of something of his, he's like, "What are you eating my food for?" Yeah, but he knows how to communicate. Yeah, my exactly. although my little one's a meatball. That one is like a human garbage disposal. She eats it's so and great, eats. It's so isn't it? I don't know, because I've never had the child that doesn't eat. Everyone's complaining <laughs> they've got the one kid that kid doesn't that eat. Ate? I didn't eat a lot. I only ate green foods. My mom had to put green food coloring in everything. Who are you? I don't know. I ate string beans out of the can. That's and I ate crazy. chicken, and my mom made it green. You know, I never talked about this, but these are real issues that my mom had to deal with. But she <laughs> indulged me. She should have. Kids have a lot of eating disorders. Let me tell you. I, I know kids who like don't eat crunchy food. I mean, it's all crazy. It's nuts. Especially if you walk the streets of indulgent Manhattan, you will find a lot of disorders with yes. kids. Oh, I think in this And that we indulge so and that we do, indulge. Don't we? My mother used to say to me, the kitchen's closed, the restaurant's closed. You don't like this? You're not eating. And you survived. And I ate it. And I ate the stupid broiled antibiotic filled <laughs> chicken that was so gross. <laughs> Or like the flunkin' meat that was so the gross. The flunkin' oh, meat that's so awful. So awful. awful. Oh, no, my my grandmother used to make um, they called it chocho. I don't know what it was. What was it? It was like chopped meat in like a. If my mom's watching, she'll tell me what it was. I hated it, and oh, they said the same watching. thing. Sometimes she does watch all this like Jewish food that like came. Through. My mom's actually not going to be watching because of Sukkot. Oh, I'll tell you that okay. my mom will be watching despite Sukkot. Somehow she's going to get wouldn't past know how Sukkot. to watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, we it's your mom. Now. She's in Westchester. Oh, nice. We were in Chappaqua for many years, and last month they moved to Croton. They finally downsized nice. after like a hundred years of nice. being up here. We moved up here in '89 uh, from Haiti, and uh, we went from the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, but in it was corporate very... Haiti, to Chappaqua, New York. I know, but if you're if you have money in Haiti, you're very wealthy. If you are poor in Haiti, you're still very wealthy. Okay. I mean, <laughs> let's okay. put it that way. I mean, you don't even need yeah. money, and you would be. I mean, that picture is worth more than like yeah. a lot of people it's down really there. Crazy. It's a tough place to be and live. So and what exist. were you doing there? My you dad had a. Know, my dad had a leather manufacturing. Oh, great. Yeah. So specific. Uh, Steve oh. Hurt, remember? He couldn't believe it. He makes uh, leather buttons and zipper pulls. And he and so he my friend him, Steve said, "Well, does he make the zippers? No, just the poles." And he said, "Well, shouldn't the zipper people match up with the pole people and two factories make one big? Nope, the zipper people have their own factory. The pole people have their own factory, and That's they exist crazy. separate of each other." Is that um, crazy? So anyway, inefficiency. So why are we here? No idea. I really, I have no <laughs> idea. I'm um, excited. No. Let's get going. So if if you have ever had like an idea for a television show, but with no real concept and no real characters and no real script, no real direction, no real rundown, no real sense of anything whatsoever, this is the person you would want to talk to. (laughs) Because this person, Susan was born with with this ability to come up with a, a string, a thread of an idea. It's woven, I would say it's woven into your soul and make that into a successful program. I don't know, it's, this is what you do. Well, the same way you said I did fitness. You, this is no, what you do. No, but you live fit. 
fitness. I'm, I'm saying. Oh, you you don't think saying, they live this? No, but I'm saying to you that like everyone comes to the table with a power source. Right. Right. And yours emanates from your skin. I mean, it you just you walked in my office and you were like your posture was great. Like you, and I was like, wow. And by the way, that came off when I was. I've been a fan of yours for years. That's, so, I'm no, so but, flattered by that. Well, you know, even I my parents weren't, so that's no. nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> you should do stand-up. Oh, thank you. I did it once, by mistake. <laughs> I did, by mistake. Anyway, go on. But, and you figure out what is my power source. Most people come, by the way, they make pitches like that. They don't know what they want. They think it's this. And I, 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 you constantly say to people, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying there? Then say what you, you yes. say, say what you really want to say. So it's about figuring out where you can, because people have, you know, if someone has talent, you can always figure something out. But what's really hard, and I learned this script writing, is what I was always taught and told, and the hardest part of writing a script is you write a script and then take 30% of the words out and see if you can deliver the exact same message with fewer words and with fewer concepts and stop being all over the place and try to hone in on exactly what you want and be focused. And making it yours. And making it yours. And making it yours because at the end of the day it's about, it has to be you. You know why it's hard for it to be me sometimes, Lance? Because it's you. So sometimes it needs to be me. Well, sometimes I... Lance got in trouble the last segment what because happened? he took the show and he's like, do me a favor, give me the show a second, Jenna. Okay, now I have the show. Wham! Wham! Why? Bam! 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 Well, I was bam. asking questions. I mean, originally in fairness to me... I, I know, I was supposed to leave for a while. She was supposed to leave was... and it was the one area that I happened to know a little bit about. Um... I felt like Lance was asking a lot of inside baseball questions and I didn't want to lose the audience. I'm about getting the yeah. message across but keeping the audience. Yeah. Lance is not as concerned with that as he is with getting just the message. I just message want to know what we're telling the audience. Like, I mean, like, I feel, yes, I mean, on the Haiti thing specifically, like, um, I feel like this is an important platform for the country of it Haiti. It is. It is. Um, and I wanted to get things right. I'm sorry. I'm no, not no, doing no, it again. No, I'll be no, quiet. No, 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 that is fine. But as a television person, if you're talking to no one, no one's going to hear your message. Yeah. So I need to, we need to balance you know away I so I can do? keep people while you also give that I message. I used to give Kramer a pillow and a blanket because people, you know, I'd be so bored during the show. I, might, I was like, you might as well go to sleep because yes. we can take it all. Yeah. I'm not interested in anything that you have to say right, right. now. Right, and even if it's an important message, if you're not delivering it in an interesting it's way, no true. one's going to get it. So you have to, you tell me what you want and you have to let me like, if I find the interview's not going in. What's your point? Just what get to the you again. Want? You don't what have to you ask want? eight questions. I'll ask the one question. You gotta know your point. Like, like, see, listen. You, you gotta get... know your point. Know the Just point, give Lance. The point. Give me the point. I'll if make the point. the point. I, I can guarantee you, she'll okay. make the point. Both of you are haranguing over no. here, but <laughs> <laughs> Harangi Productions. <laughs> <Yeah. that you're laughs> okay, this might make for good TV, beating up Lance, but um, in fairness to Lance. I know. I had to leave. Can I tell? Can I say why I had to leave? I don't know. It's your show. And you know I, about the other thing. I don't know. Like, I know. It how. doesn't even. It's never. You know how sometimes when you put something out into the ether, it never happens. But who cares? It's fun to talk who about. Who cares? I'm. Uh, I was running up town to read for the smallest line ever on Homeland, like That's reporter so number though. eight, like who in cares? a big room. Who cares, right? Oh my God, your mother will see you. Oh my God, we could tweet it. I only got such oh, a big That deal. would mean that my parents bought Showtime. Oh, no, God. because you have to pay for it. <laughs> if you have to pay for it, my parents do not have Showtime. It's the, the yeah. gift that uh -huh. keeps on giving, uh -huh. the premium channels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, ones. mom. No, the premium channels I are mean, rough. It's a rough one. I, it's expensive. Uh, what's the most popular show to ever come out of HBO ever? A pick a show, any show. Sex in the City. Sex in the City. Mom, did you ever see Sex in the City? Oh, your father wouldn't buy HBO. We haven't had HBO since ever. I'm like, okay, Mom. Oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway, I love my parents. Yeah. But did your mom uh, see the Sex in the City movie? My mom saw no Sex in the City. She wouldn't watch anything that had sex in it. What does she watch? She watch well, my... Besides you. She, uh, not always. What does mm -hmm. she watch? Uh, she used to watch Days of Our Lives. She right. watches a lot of HGTV. Oh, God. I love it. That she is loves for me. a lot of HGTV. Oh, my God. She loves the um, the, the property brothers, brothers. Property and brothers I did a story fantastic. with them, and they I did a great. whole thing to my mom with them. And I love the, the Magnolia video. people. That I don't know. And I was actually at the launch of HGTV. It was owned by Scripps. I, I love, I love, I could oh, watch nice. HGTV all day. Background music. It's that's music. how I am with like cooking and cooking channel, and I'm terrible. I'm a terrible cook. Anyway, yeah. you're so much more oh. interesting than all this cookery. So um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not that interesting, really. We actually do the same thing, but she is the the brains and the intelligence camera. and the planning behind it, and then I'm the more the execution, right? If that's how you would describe this, it. Unless you have the execution right on the money, doesn't matter. 
got to make it yours. Got to make it. Got to make it. Who are you? That's you have to make it yours. But what Otherwise, happens is matter. sometimes you try to make it yours, but you're in you're set in a box that's theirs. So when you try to make it yours, butting up against something that's theirs, you run into problems. Life. Yeah. Constantly. Always. So um, run down your resume in a conversation for me a little bit. For people that don't know, tell me a couple of the shows that you started that you All helped right. about. So I spent many years at CNBC running programs for them. So I created Mad Money with Jim Cramer. Awesome. It was a calm, sweet, serene show, like <laughs> much like Bob Ross. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> but was was on the network. But was on the network doing a political show. Oh, he was. Yeah, and I was like, wait, something's wrong here. Yeah. This is not going to continue. And at first, he wouldn't even take my call. And I found him. And I'm like, let me set you straight, okay? This not you, working. You're, you return. How'd your mother bring you up? Yeah. You return my call. Even tell me you don't want to talk to me, but return my call. Oh, I really love you. Know, I just okay. Anyway, so and I would say, why are you doing a political show? Like, who are you that you have the right to do a political show? What's your? Do you have any heft in? No, okay, great. Let's build a let's build a show that's like a hedge fund. Let's create what's authentic to you. Yeah. Okay, so we did that. Then I did a show called Fast Money yeah. because I wanted to do a sports show for money because I felt like it was all it was taking the, the I felt like the stock market was taking place on the, on a field. You know, the, the investment community was really taking place on a field. Yeah. And I wanted to have the after show. So like, pardon the interruption, or I just wanted to have the yeah. after show because I wanted it to be like more like a sport. Wait, do you have a sports background? How do you even no. know PTI? I How mean, would you know a show like that? And my son will tell you, Mom, you don't know anything about the sport. So but what you are you talking do. about? But you already do. An after show, a field, and PTI, that's 100% more than my mom knows. But I know about TV. Yeah. Right? I know about, and I know about the authenticity of sports. You can't, you can't convey something without it being authentic when it comes to money, when it comes to sports, right? right. Think about it. Yeah. You know, like I used to say, get rid of the journalist. Who cares? I want to talk to the people who touch money. Yeah. That to me would be more interesting than reporting from like, okay, yeah, like, okay. It makes perfect I'm gone. sense. Right. You but if you me. touched money, I would be like, let's go. Because then you, you have a right to talk to me. So did you find people who touched money and who had personality? How did that yeah. work? I did a good old fashioned talent search. What, what does hundreds, that mean? Tell me. Hundreds and hundreds. I have a team of people. I said, let's go. I had a camera set up, and we're going to go through people, and we're going to find the best. Eric Bowen from Fox. I know the name. Yeah. He does um, He does all the Saturday Fox shows. Yeah. He does The Five. He's a big um, Republican. But anyway. He came in to read for it? Yeah, he, and we cast him. And he was one of my first people. What, what did you make night. them do? I'm, just, I'm always curious about auditions. I never made them read anything, but I would give them a topic. And I'd be like, Let, give me a lot of energy. Here's the top. We're going to talk about bonds. We're going to talk about shorting. I, and I would, but then, then I would say, oh my God, that guy's good. Okay, we'll take him. Can you wait a few minutes? We'll put him all, we bring him back to put him with somebody else. It's not easy. By the way, it's a lot of work. Uh, oh, a I know. A lot of work. I know. Because you know, for the hundreds of people that come through, if you find three, you're lucky. Very. Look, I know I that like for that. Uh, being on the other side of it. I auditioned for some show out in LA with Deion Sanders, and it was, Dion and they would bring these two in and that one comes out this one yeah. goes over and this one comes in and those two out then these two go in and you have to be on yeah. Immediately they're like here's the topic our Barbie dolls too thin go and you just have to so I, both sides of it is really really difficult Yeah, and it's you know, it's hard work, but somehow you just you just do it Lance when you came to my office and we we talked about doing periscope mm -hmm. I was like just All I said was I'm just doing it because then we'll figure out from there, right? How to go sideways? How to go forward? Yeah. How to go backwards? Right? 100%. And we just did it. And I was, we're doing. And I, I was texting him, and I was like, "Did you see it? Can I get notes? Can I have like, give me stuff to implement right now? Right. Because this is your world." Mm -hmm. And so you just you welcome just get to my it. world. Listen, you can't be feared. <laughs> you, you can't be fear. You can't live your life fearful of what's a good idea or a bad idea. So break Screw that down. It. it means that you know what? First of all, you have to at some point in your career figure out where your confidence sits, sits, right? So I said, I tell this to my kid, and you're gonna tell this to your kids. Be bold. Learn how to take criticism if it's not a good idea. But your ideas have to come from your soul and your gut. And you've gotta be able to stand by them. 
or otherwise you're not of any value to anyone. Right. Right. So you have to learn. I remember when I said to the head of CNBC, I said, I want to do a show with traders. And he was like, oh, traders, T-R-A-I-T-O-R-S. And I'm like, no. <laughs> but the point was, I, I knew I knew what I wanted to do. I knew that I was going to get this one doesn't like this, this one doesn't like that. Okay, next, next. Yeah. And I used to fight people on every every end. And I was like, I don't care. We're doing the show. Right. We're doing the show. Right. We're doing the show. And that's where it and that's where it is. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's not easy. But just creative. even come, and then from the idea to its implementation is, I mean, talk talk about how hard that is in this industry in this world and. This business, right. it's so complicated. I used to say to people, so after I, I launched a show, that I couldn't do a show for, I could not do anything. I couldn't do anything for six months. It's giving birth. You're giving it's birth. It's so terrible. Plus, it's all, everyone has an opinion. Right. And then you have to learn how to say thank you so much for those thoughts. <laughs> right? It's like, okay, <laughs> right, whatever. Uh, I, I, I'm looking at you, Lance. Right. <laughs> looking like, at okay. Lance. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you for that idea. I had to learn how to do that. That was very difficult for me. Because I was so so deeply attached to every single piece of the way it was flowing right that if someone would come at me and say but you know he's a little too emotional I'm like emotional stop them you know it's like you got to get them yeah and then I was just like thank you so much I learned how to say thank you so much and email thank you instead of being defensive yeah and then I would never do it but I would be like of course not why would you want to this is a terrible like, idea thank you so much you know you know great idea what are you working on now what's your project so right now we're doing um, Wall Street Week, okay, and we're doing um, we do a newsletter, and we're doing podcasts. You should see my wall in my office podcast. But now it's booked. It's organized. I have I, I run it like was this show. that yeah, I saw a walls. whiteboard and oh it was just covered in yeah it was all my guests. I for, thought that was show. art. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was like, that's actually really cool. I never saw anyone do that. They wrote all over a whiteboard and they framed it. <laughs> Put it on the wall. Oh my God. No, no, no. So that was... Um, so Professional, was, by the way. Yeah. Professional. I shut my phone Lance off. runs the show. Keeps his <laughs> ringer on. I know, but I Lance is like, I know, Lance, you're going to come through with all this. I know. I have this feeling. Here's why I'm with Lance. I mean, yeah. want me to tell you? We're going to take a little we'll detour, then we're going to come back yeah, no, to Wall no, no. Street Week. Um... When I meet someone for the first time, I know instantaneously whether they are the kind of person that will succeed or the kind of person that will just scratch all his life and hope for the best and hope for the best and hope for the best. Like Lance has never, besides marriage, has never failed at anything that he has set his mind to. But he's really failed That's, badly I at mean, marriage. I got I failed at like this better not be the thing you fail at. I swear to God, Lance, this better not be the thing you <laughs> fail at. Um, I have great scores. No, but I met you the first time too, and I, I was like. He's one of those guys all over that, the place. Yeah, but I, I like I, I like that. I can't be like that, but I really like that. And he's incredibly smart. Very smart. So you're willing to go with it. That's why I'm here. I agree with that because he's I incredibly intelligent. I agree with that. Um, but what, by the but, way, we've met a lot of you know people who aren't that smart in our yep. business who are all over the place and right. don't come through with the good. So. When you see someone like Lance, you're like, yep, I'm, I'm good for that. But I gave Lance the same thing Lance gave me. So I know what Lance is good at. Lance is smart. Mm -hmm. Lance is um, passionate. Lance is is uh, pleasantly self-righteous, but about the topics and things that mean <laughs> a lot to you. I mean, you saw something in me that you thought I was good at. I'm good at, at personality. I'm good at, at making things that may or may not you're be the most interesting thing in the room yeah. and making it interesting. So we always argue because I say, let me do my job. You know, and I'll Agreed. let you do your job, Agreed. but I'm not going to do your job, and then I don't want you to let me do you know do my job. So that's why we were arguing. It just comes together where you're coming through on your end, and you got to come through on your end. Right. I asked. Yeah. I said. I asked Lance. I, I was like, Lance, what's the goal? How do we get there? Can you lay that all out with this? With everything. Yeah. And he was just like, I, I can't lay that out. But you know who's going to get there. I don't, I don't have a goal. Like, we don't so know. Like, that, that having a goal. Like there's no, you're in this place, you're in this place, it's undefinable. It's just like, okay, eat the donuts, fine. Like, oh no. I don't know anything that just happened, but I'll tell you that's no. No, but I was like, okay, he doesn't have a goal. Okay, never been there before, but okay. Look, if if you and I are very similar in that I want to write down what I have to do today, I want to check it off, I want to I want to I want to go to sleep smarter than I was when I woke up, I want to I want to fucking accomplish something yeah. that's gonna happen right. today next, next right next next next, next. Right. Yeah. so we're, 
No, no, no. We're complimenting you. You don't have to be defensive. You're getting a little defensive. Well, I'm being defensive. You're being very defensive. I think you're being defensive. I see you being defensive over here. You're in a very defensive <laughs> position. You're in a very defensive position the way you're sitting. You got your leg crossed in a very defensive way. Your arm is on. You're holding up your head right now. During my divorce, I actually always used to sit like this. Tangent. Yeah, that's terrible. I used to always sit like this. Closing people off. And yeah. that was what the mediator said during my divorce. And I was just like, I've sat like this my entire life. Just like, I was just being comfortable. On an anchor desk, you're not supposed to hold your hands because it closes the audience off. You're supposed to keep your hands open, which is, feels ridiculous when I'm anchoring right? and my hands are open that. this way. Yeah. I like people who talk with their hands. And, well, the Jews and the Italians. Yeah. This is what I do. I, yeah. You know. Um, I'm constantly not even going like, Me really, too. Like, I like, keep uh, touching people like to the get their attention. I know. Gotta stop with the knocking. Right. I'm just glad we got off of my topic. So back to the show. And we'll discuss <laughs> us we'll later. We'll, we'll go go discuss we'll go us go later. Um, so anyway, but, but yeah. the point I was making was that I needed a goal when I met with Lance. And he was like, I have no goal. And I was like, okay. No problem. No goal, no problem. <laughs> I will learn to work with no goal. Well, it's not as easy for me, but I'm doing it. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm four, working with no goal. Four hours a day, though. I didn't want to do four hours, but Lance seems to tell me that this is the quickest way to um, be financially comfortable, so I don't yeah. have to move out of my apartment next year, is if we do four hours a day. So Actually, I'm just going to break it down. How great is your apartment? Day, but I got... I'm not doing 12 hours a day, Lance. I know you're not. I physically can barely do four hours a day. So four hours a day but was she, the max that we could do. Right. But, what, that but was, as a television out. person, please tell me if I'm, I don't, I hate the word like diluting the brand, whatever that means, but I'd rather have like, my argument in the beginning was, you know, have three guests, four guests, have amazing like 10 minute conversations yeah. where it's fiery and it's, and it's productive yeah. and it's informative and engaging yeah. and interactive, you know, and do it for an hour, do it for two hours. Or take one person and talk to them for 45 minutes where no one's really watching for the last 15 is, minutes. I'm not sure. But what's your point? Your point is to four hours with what? Interesting conversation. But yeah, I feel like you can delve into topics much more in depth in 45 minutes. Everybody else is doing the hour. But like, no one's doing two hours. There are two hours is a long time. Two hours is a long time, but like radio. So, so Jenna comes from this TV background. Right. As does Susan. As does Susan. True. Um, this, <laughs> this is not a TV. This is something different. Right, and but the more, the longer you're live, the more chances. What I love you have about Jenna is she has to control talking all the time. All too. the time. I, I've learned to like. I'm not so good at it. I have to be better. It's very difficult. Yeah. I had, I tell my kid, gotta learn to listen, and I didn't learn until I was in my twenties. Maybe 30s. Oh my God, I'm 42. It's okay. terrible. It starts now. Watch, watch. It's terrible. It's terrible to be in meetings and not controlling them. Yeah. To not talk. To let. When you have enough, you know, big people tell you, "Can I finish?" You learn to like, "Oh my God." And that would, I think, put me over. There. <laughs> that, that was, would like, I was like, why me? I remember saying, "Yep, you're right." Yeah. You're right. But like, I know that, like, I love that person. I love that about you. You just like, they and, think, go on. No, the brain just works. Wait till you see your kids' brains develop. Really? Yeah, because you'll notice things in you that you don't like in you. Yes. That they, it's just genetically there. Oh, there's a lot, believe me, there's so many. No, oh, there's like, a lot of things I don't like in no, me before but, I even get like, to that. You'll, you'll see, yeah. when you see it in your kids, it's like, oh my God, like my son's mind races so quickly you can hardly get things out and I'm like boy you got that from you yep right and it's like oh my god you gotta learn how to like really get your thoughts out you gotta learn how to make eye contact you know you gotta learn yeah 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 you know, yeah all those things because otherwise you're not gonna get your you're not gonna get your points across and no one's gonna hear it no one's gonna hear right. it. right no that makes sense that makes sense um okay so let's get back to Wall Street Week tell me about it so Wall Street Week was interesting because when I first when I left CNBC I came to work for Anthony Scaramucci um who, Whose but, offices we are in? We're in. This is Anthony yep. Scaramucci's office. Skybridge. And by the way, I did his deal. He has something called the Salt Conference, which yeah. is an unbelievable conference, which hopefully you'll be yeah. this year. Yeah, Lance was very passionate about it. We would love to be. It is fantastic. I mean, really the best of Hollywood, tech, um, and, and Wall Street all converge in Vegas, no less. <laughs> um, where, you know, it's like four o'clock in the morning and they're like, would you like a drink? Yeah. You know, it's like really ridiculous. And, but it really is a fantastic 
a conference with a lot of great um, speakers who really impart a lot of information about where the world is going. So I did the deal at CNBC for him for, to cover the conference. But what a lot of people don't know about Anthony is that he really is a visionary. So I had, I got CNBC to interview for the first time over the President of the United States, and it took me 18 months, Barack Obama. <clears throat> and uh, not that I was telling you who the president no, was, I, I, I was like, okay, at that cool. time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so no, the B is Barack. Yes. Okay. That's, that's and no one <clears throat> from Wall Street really wanted to come on and talk to the president because he was attacking Wall Street right. and capitalism. And I called Anthony. At, he was in Zurich, and it must have been like four o'clock his time in the morning. And I said, I need you to come um, to Washington. And it was the first town hall ever that he's doing with CNBC, and I need Wall Street to be represented. And he said, great, when do I have to be there? And that was in three days he got there. Wow. So, um, so moving. He's a great guy, and we're gonna actually have him on the show like in the next week or so. Yeah. Do you have a camera on you? No. I, mean, no. I, feel, like we I feel like you need that. I feel very Howard Sterny. I feel like you I'm need Robert to be part Porter's. of it. No, but I feel like you need to be part of that. You have well, 95 phones. Why not put up another one? Enough phones without me being. Well, I like that he's dry. In a good he's way. Dry he's dry in a good dry. way. Uh, yeah, but because there's no camera on him, when he takes over a lot of her, when he's asking a bunch of questions, I feel like people should either see him or. I'm just the voice. I'm the voice. Here, but Megan, I don't know Megan like Mitchell, that. actually, who watches the show all the time, says, checking in. I love the working relationship between Jenna and Lance. It's charming I think she's and authentic. Being sarcastic. Is she being real? Megan, she's are you being, being real? Yeah, she's the one she's the one from oh, Cincinnati the, who was Yeah. She had you on her Mount Rushmore of reporters you and stuff. Okay. She she so the, the the fans of the show I think are comfortable with my role from over here. They hear me. I Why don't you try it? Like I can't control myself. Susan, okay. we'll talk. Why don't you try Susan, it? Susan, we'll talk later. Try it one week with it and one week I want the show to work. Oh boy. Jenna had me on camera one day, right? Yes. Did I bomb? Nope, you did great. You did great. I'm going with her. You did wonderful. All right, we'll see. We'll I talk. think I think your personality is like as a like a C role. <laughs> My personality yeah. and you use that term loosely. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> well, she's so what he has to work on a little bit is just, is just I, I hate to say this, but you tell me all the time what I have to work on and there's a lot. Uh, I know that. Uh, is if you ask Lance a question, he'll answer seven other questions before this yeah, one. We have, the question. If someone what's asks you a question, question what's the question? Answer that one question. Right. That's T V. Off TV, I don't care what so you So I actually tend to think aloud. I know that, like that's something that you guys don't really do we do but not when this when the I, I'm is thinking out. like I'm trying to find not my, sure how interesting that is I'm not right? exactly I'm just not, not sure I'm right. not but a TV try person a I'm not that interesting but try it for a week we'll talk we'll there's see there's gotta okay. be people like you out there <laughs> who will relate to it should we just swing the camera around just so like everyone can we, talk? Well, we do that we'll, at least we'll, once we'll, a day we'll talk about this I do have a social media idea for this if you want to I there's ways of doing this. We have a lot of things to introduce a number of cameras, so we have this. Megan is actually coming in with another comment. Uh, she, reading glasses. Yeah. I do, actually. I was getting headaches. I So they they, they told me to keep my glasses on. Um, anyway. Um, see, see what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. And then it goes off for eight yeah, okay. minutes, and right. all of a no, sudden I, people I, stop I agree. watching. I'm like, what? I know. That's why. Wait, what I, is Megan um, asking? But this guy's see, telling me. What? It's just, just asking Megan. Okay. So this much. guy's telling what? me to man up. There's no, a guy. Who is that? I love him. I think disappeared. No, okay, I but, love you, man. But you see, man you up. said Megan is asking, and then you never Megan's got to. Megan's asking the same. So maybe that. Well, I have an idea. I, I don't think I should be the primary co-host point. No, we don't think you should. We, be and we no, and I don't want it to be co-hosted because we would never no. get to the topic at hand. We would never get <laughs> anything done. Never, anywhere, We've got like, nothing done in the last six minutes. We've done nothing, Susan. We picked forward. on me for at least ten minutes. That's why you need to be on camera. Right. Because someone needs to be picked on always. Uh, in that dynamic. In that dynamic. I think so. Um, Who okay, is that? So, Who are so you? this That's is Marvin. Mark. He's a he's a super fan. He's a big fan of the oh, show. And, and, he, and he's wanted That's to come in for a long time. He's lost to 100 pounds. By the way, are you serious? Yes. Yeah. I'll show you pictures if you want. I wish. Don't show me pictures. Show me. Tell me how. He was walking and he's eating better. It's so boring. It's not sexy. You want the sexy answer. And unfortunately, the answer that works is not sexy. Am I right? Is she right? Is she She's right. right. No, no surgery, no nothing. Just shut my mouth and get moving. It's just move more, eat less. But what the industry does is they dress it up with fancy packages and fancy bows and tons of money that they want you to pour in in gadgets and gizmos and all of it. And they say, just buy this and you'll be fine. But what, what is it? What do you eat every day? 
Uh, well, before that, I'm starting this big thing. <laughs> but until then, what big thing? we're doing a one, it's a one ingredient diet for a month. So What's everything you eat is one ingredient. So a carrot, how many ingredients in a carrot? Right. One. Chicken, one. What omelet. an omelet. I mean, what, the food itself has to have well, one. You can have no like chemicals, a, no you know, like, a spinach, tomato, omelet. Or a salad. You can eat or a salad. salad. But every ingredient in it is a real, is a, is real whole food. Oh, look, I there's, there, there you go. Me. Wow. Here, Marvin, give us a... Wow. That's impressive. That's smart. Marvin. Congratulations. That's, she looks a lot like um <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. That looks a lot like Homer Simpson. <laughs> Let me tell you how successful the show is going to be. Can no, you tell? I think it's going to be. I do. There's Marvin. Pick. He's making his rounds around over here. Um, would you after we finally dive into Wall Street Week and yes. tell me how people can watch and read and yes. listen, yes. then I want like I don't want you to leave before you can give us some advice or give me some advice and Lance and all of it, what we can do. Because we actually have a real brain here on the show who has made successful programming. Well, the only thing that I would say is that, again, I'm going back to goals. What's, <coughs> what's, the, what's the goal of the show? To entertain always inform inform but what's the inform you got to define what the inform is because you got to own something right or so you're saying it's got to be more thematic thing, no my thing is you can't be all over the place right so what part why of the world why can't you be all over the place see because i don't think you can be because i think people tune in i t you tune in for you know the cooking shows because you just love food and right right so there's a there's an impetus that's actionable, right? You turn on, you put that. I like renovating houses, and I like, right. So I have on HGTV. What about what about talk shows that have various guests like, like Charlie Fallon Rose, or Charlie Ellen Rose or Charlie Rose, have, Rose or you know, we'll have a minutes. basketball announcer. He'll have a, we'll have a an actor, and he'll have like the way I found out about no, Malaria, but that's which, not, with but Jeffrey that's, Sachs. But, but but Charlie Rose, the power is not, the power is in. In, in the booking, it's in the conversation, right? You get the same conversation every night, right? Which is what we're doing. You get the same conversation here every four hours from 11 till three. You get the best conversation, you get in-depth conversation. It goes in a lot of places, like on Friday, a conversation with a weather person, okay, went into how mental health can be solved with um, food. And that conversation took time, needed time. Mo the time is to delve with into- With the weather person? You with the weather about person, that? yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. I so don't that, believe you can help. So time, I think, actually, so well, time actually is your ally. But I, don't, I think the other thing that's the ally that you're forgetting is that she had a huge following. And most of the people that we have on don't have huge followings and they but, haven't done well. But if you get three people, whether they're interesting or not, and they have huge followings, you're gonna see those same right, numbers. But if you were having, a, if you were having thing, a TV conversation with her, that was for five. You're going. We're going to do five minutes of promotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five minutes promotion that yeah. you never would have gotten to the mental health right. food part. And what I'm saying is that what I have seen in my life personally, the things that I've gotten most involved with, it's not the first five minutes that you learn something. It's not the second five minutes that you learn something. It's the last five minutes of a conversation is when you tend to learn the most. And so it's those last five minutes that I want to get at and that you happen to be great at bringing down in people and opening them up. Well, no, but I would think that the not. thread here is that everyone wants to tune in for you, right? And so I would list, okay, what are the power sources of Jenna? And I would make a list. So that's what we're not doing right now. Do we're, you see what I mean? we're doing the So that has to come uh, out. This is not an show. obnoxious thing. I'm just saying we're doing the power oh sources God. of Lance. Like most mostly. Like the people that are your you know, mostly people that work with you or that you're passionate about, which is great because I don't know anything about this. Like a lot of the people that I'm interviewing are people that Lance will say, hey, I work with this person. This person is so interesting. And I, I'm terrible at it. I fight him on it every night. You know this. And then I interview them and yeah. yes, they are interesting. Yeah. But they are, they don't, I hope you're not taking this. You always say you're never getting insulted. I'm looking forward to you sending in all of your power see source people you See how he gets defensive? No, no, no. See how he's that, getting defensive? You, you, and just, then, you took it the wrong way. You said power source people. And I'm saying, what's Jenna's power source? So she is, she, it's the conversation, right? But she knows about this and she can get to this. And mm -hmm. then every booking, the lens is based on her power source. Do, do, you, see, do you understand right, what I'm saying? Right, but her power source is that I think that she can make any topic in the world interesting like that to me is the and i'm gonna say to you and this is just me i'm sure that's 100 percent true but you got to start with five basics or something that just 
you can get so right. We started that, but what's ended up happening is we've we we have done this gamut of topics, and we yeah. actually stayed away from her power. So it's like we weren't bringing in fitness people, and what was happening but, is that over the course of time, those interviews were very interesting across from things that she wasn't into, things she didn't know about, across the gamut. Like see, but you're see. saying fitness, and I'm saying the ability to see what works for people. So do you see motivation? That? Yes. Television. Fitness people. doesn't mean it, like fitness. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. So right. every single person that we're bringing in is somebody that has this expertise, and so we've been able to, I think, lock into that kind of stuff with each particular guest. Then it gets to where their greatness comes yes. from and what motivates them, and that's the common thread. But you just, but that, but that's now well defined. Right. That's the common thread. That, that's sort people. of well defined now. Okay. So I. I like um, oh, thank that's you that's very really much. Pretty. That that neck, that bracelet, by the way, is a common thread in every show. Never, everyone loves it. And Stephanie gave it to me. I had no idea where she got. And every the night leather, I asked the her. Leather and the, uh, Thank you. Was very nice. um, and I just to get finished to put the bow on this. I think we should talk about that because I don't feel like. I mean, if we're going to be perfectly yeah. honest, since we're seeing we having this, therapy now? we're in this therapy. <laughs> like, I don't yes. feel like everything's through my power source. I feel like it's it's it's, and it's not about booking. It's um, oh, I it's not about booking at all. No, because he not feels like all. if I say I think we should do this and this, he'll say, well, then you book all the guests, and I don't don't. Put no, that I, I mean, like I like no, but if I tell you what the we start the book like starting for the for the show to start, we're working on a four hour a day show at set hours and for oh, we have to have guests so right but i don't want to yeah but i don't want to book just to have people on 100 percent. that's why we've been going to people that i think are very interesting for us to sort of have interesting people that are that are good for you to bring out their story correct so but then you know what would help with then. that what would help is that if i i hate to say because i don't want it to sound canned but for you to have an opening monologue to define for everyone what the goal is and i know you hate that word lance but what you're bringing to the table with having these people here and what they can get out of it. Could so you then, have an opening So then what we think? should do is have a conversation at night before the guests are booked. So you have, he has guests booked for the next two weeks, but I don't know any of the guests. And I feel like I should know who the guests are on the show before the night before. Not that I don't right, so love actually, all the guests. We are doing this next, Does that make sense? Yeah, it's next, producing. Right? It's no, no, but through. starting next yeah. Monday, we are launching on our Facebook. I can help you, too. On Facebook, we are. Thank I'd you. I'd be very happy. But you already you. have all those guests booked, and I, I had no, I think you and I should have a conversation. Hey, you say these are the, the guests I'm thinking of booking. What do you think? Anyone you oh, okay. want, yeah, I mean, don't want absolutely. to? Absolutely. But, but you roll your eyes, but why wouldn't I? But why would you want to sit me out here and say, go be great, but I had no say in who's sitting next to me? It's, well, that, plus it's, it's also how <laughs> we're you, in a therapy session. No, wait a second. But it's also how can you be the best you by bringing it through your lens? That's really all you're asking because you can't be great with anyone. We got that. But how can you really make the show great unless you take it through your lens? And you got to have some information for that because her her mind is well skilled in putting a, a beginning, a middle, and end together. That you already you have that from all your experience right but if, if she if she knows who the guest is and then she can figure out how to all right so the point I was gonna make is that what we're we're going to do starting because this has been an issue and I've been trying to figure out a lot of what we're trying to do is there's there's the show context this this TV show environment that everybody has there's a radio show environment and we're on this thing called we're doing a social media show and to do a social media show I want to try to make sure that we generate the best social media input into this whole thing so basically what does that mean exactly. it means it means what how does that differ from a show it, it differs because the distribution of where it goes out even or it the differs origination. because you need her to be different. no even the origination so what we were i i've been hearing jenna on this particular issue yeah on um, Monday next week, we're launching, we're putting up event pages on Facebook so that we're going, as we book the guests, we're gonna have the information up on the guests and we're gonna be able to start getting our audience involved earlier before the show. That's good. So that the audience starts asking questions and we start sort of utilizing the audience power and start building up anticipation of the particular show so that when somebody like a Roberto Tutesco comes in, the people who are, you know, who was our first guest today, everybody has gone and seen, you know, you could have even gone to his gallery in New York to see the yeah. art. And so that there is this sort of anticipation that builds up. That's a great and then, idea. And so that's how, that's how I sort of see this playing. And so a lot of this is we're putting this stuff out there. And when I say we have a goal, what I've 
sort of my experience has been I like to start with a blank page in terms of my I do have somewhat of a creative background and on the creative side what I like to do is say okay we have a blank page let's not define it let's sort of try to let it open as much as possible and then back our way into these sort of narrow streets and avenues that we need to go down but let's first try to see what we can do that's not being done right now and take it to that level. So we have to we have to come to something that's in between both. Okay. So I, I, I agree with that. So you you, do. yeah. So like, what are my what are my like power topics? So it would be like motivation. It would be sports. It would be TV personalities, like the concept of television, the background of television. It would engagement. be engagement. Engagement of some sort, and then it would be this, which is you, which is like the stuff. Or or mine would also be Haiti, whatever. But then it would be you and the stuff you bring to the table, like. You know, like Roberto, he's a photographer, and he used to be a fashion photographer, and now he shoots these beautiful images and horses on Sable Island. Like, I have zero connection to that. I'm not good at any part of it, but he's ridiculously interesting and has beautiful work. You know, and that could be like the 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 fifth That's element the, in all of it. What motivates someone like that? What motivates him? Because he went to do beautiful images like that. What motivates someone like that? So th that's you're right. You're 100 percent. All I'm right. saying to you is like I have this, I have this rule and I used to make everyone on my team I still do what is my job today today my job is to and it and that could be that can incorporate all of your right. randomness and all of your open mm -hmm. folder and right blank slate. he's far more open blank but, slate and I'm far more focused and well, we I mean, like, in the middle. when we got started like this even just our relationship at the beginning between Jenna and I this is not something that when Jenna when Jenna came to me, that we were even thinking no, about. No, this just came and out so, of our relationship. So this is like the type of thing, like the way I like to work, um, is I like to sort of have it open and- That's uh, why the camera should also be on you. Because that, to me, is just, something that's not being done. Beard. That's not being done anywhere else. But not as a co-host. No, no, I'm not saying that at all. Never in a million years, right. that's disgusting. That's actually <laughs> disgusting. And I'm appalled that you would even think that. Not. Absolutely not. A smaller camera, perhaps in black and white, maybe yes. out of focus. Yes. And that's about the extent so of it. You're so eloquent. Okay? Said, said well. That's said about well. the extent of it. But you should so go come in. Grow your little beard back and put that weight back on, because don't even think I'm you're going to be the next Robin Quivers, okay? Actually, <laughs> that was thinking those... Uh... <laughs> You guys want to hear my line from Homeland? This yes. is what I it was. Do. By the way, you I got blown off. Up? It was supposed to be today. I actually yeah. time out here. Gary is actually. Do you, you see what this is? Hold yeah, on, we're Gary, driving. We're driving. Up. Oh, there's a. Gary, car. let's go. Here we go. Gary wants to know. Well, this is important because he's in the audience yeah. and he's saying, "Can someone please tell us what exactly is going on here?" So oh, I'm going to reset. Funny. So we're going to reset, reset the show. Actually, yeah. that's one of the things that we've been Terrific. told often is that we should. We're reset speaking the show. with Susan Krakauer, who is um, was the brains behind so many successful shows at CNBC. She's now working for a show. Working, you came Sky up with Ridge. the concept of you're working at Skybridge, but Wall Street Week is another show that you're doing right the second. Yes. She is. Um, uh, producer, creator, writer, talent understands how shows work, and that Julia Roberts movie wasn't the character based on you. I mean, I mean that's nothing okay. to sloth at. That's amazing. It was pretty. I, 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 my mother didn't see it though. <laughs> so, well, that's really that's, so that's the barometer that matters, for whether right? something is successful or not. And the discussion we're having, we're having now, a therapy session. We're having a therapy session. Gary um, is his name. We are swimming yeah. through uncharted waters right now. We understand what television is and what radio is and what social media is, but this show, Lance just left, he quit. This show <laughs> is, uh, is really, we're swimming somewhere in between with, with like one life raft for all of us to hold on to, and we're trying to figure it out as we go. And I'm a very focused, I like to know exactly what's happening. I'll do copious research, but I want to know everything on the, the next day's show and where we're going, I want a theme. And Lance is like, we'll just figure it out as we go. You'll sit next to this person. You'll ask him some questions. See, the thing is that in TV, if you say, I'll just figure it out as you go, you'll get burned. And I think that's what the issue is. Right. Like, so I'm, I'm fearful of that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, Therapy's hard work. Therapy's hard work. Love Lance. it. I love uh, it. So, yeah. So, um, and looking for my Advil, I wasn't successful. So, I Should we get someone to get let's the Let's get Advil? some Advil. In my, tell Lindsay in my office, in my bag. I got a leave, a giant Costco size. Don't go. Leave. Are you, oh, a leave. A leave. Like, 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 I got a leave. I'm like, no, not <laughs> yet. We're in the middle of something. No. Just go ask for Just went right, right. She's sitting right outside my door. I said, just go in my bag, and there's a, there's a. Oh, a Costco size. You can't. It's a Costco um, size. Bottle. I believe. You cannot miss it. So, um, 
But you could. I want you to. I don't want your head. I don't want you to. No, no, no. It's fine. No, I don't want you to be upset or mad. I want. I'm not mad at all. I don't get mad. Why would you be mad? I'm not mad at all. I have a headache. By the way, I get headaches. Jenna, this is great conversation. Trying to figure it out. I would get headaches all the time too. Okay. It I just don't want you to say, you know what, the, this isn't working. You and I are coming from different places. I want us to work no, together to land. So God, point, did I do so this? Point, no, go. no, you're not. You're not a leaving. You can oh add bill, but you're not a leaving anywhere. <laughs> oh my God! Um, no, not at all. The um, no. So one of the things um, is that I had seen in working with actors and stuff is that in the TV world is a world of perfection. Like the world that you're used to working on is like things have to be smooth, they have to be crisp, it has to be perfect. Social media to me is, is I'm taking two or four, four. Yeah. Take two. Oh. Four. You'll have, I have a really bad. You'll pass out. You'll be loopy. We'll have, we'll, we'll, we'll have a phenomenal fall. show. Your kidneys uh, are <laughs> Take eight. <laughs> Jenna's like kill. ratings are gonna go up. Have a hundred. Take four. We, <laughs> we can <laughs> film. <laughs> Cardiac arrest. Um, no, what I was just saying. So when that, I was actually, I thought I was. You were. Um, I, I was just <laughs> No, my point is that. <laughs> this is, this is so, but it was profession. Is that everybody if chases perfection? This show perfection? doesn't work out. I'm actually just going to no, come work for you in some capacity. No, it's not true. No, it's not. No one chases perfection. But we, we, actually, what we chase is magic. Magic, but you have like all. But, but the, you need to mix you and Jenna. And that's together. what we're trying to do here. So I'm trying to take you, so to me, what I've seen on social media is anecdotal videos and anecdotal pictures work better than these sort of high-end finished product videos. These, and that's what we're trying to do here. Like we're trying to create something different. We're, we're not, we're, we don't have a lot of Periscope shows that are high quality that we can sit there and say, oh, this is how you do Periscope TV because they just don't exist. We have some of the best shows even just in terms of ratings and stuff, rankings and how things go, we've been building those. And so I don't know what we should be doing. So it's hard for me to sit here and say, this is the goal, this is the goal, because this platform is gonna work different than CNBC. It's gonna work oh, different yeah. than Channel 7. It's gonna work different than the Today Show. And that's it's why my I'm- resume, so by the way. <laughs> poo poo, the last 12 years of my life. No, it's gonna be working different. And if those places had this all so well defined, and Twitter had this. Then they would so be doing it. It would be you wouldn't go look at their at their numbers, and they would they would be doing something. I think that we agree with you. May I say we? Hundred percent. I think that for, I I think Jenna just needs clarity, for herself. Am I but wrong? we're figuring it out. We don't have the answer. So, but my point is, is that we're at this thing. We have, we have seven billion people are going to be walking around with TV cameras in their yeah. pockets. Okay, but and that, that environment need, they doesn't still, but Jenna needs to know what's the point. Right, because I want I don't want you to be able to plug some any anyone to just sit in here and do this. Anyone that can carry an interesting I conversation. I don't think anybody can. Right. I mean, like, so, I, mean I I chased you pretty hard. No, he did. And I and I love that. Yeah. I guess all I'm saying is um, it doesn't needs? it doesn't mean that I come up with every guess, but I wanna have Josh. I wanna have not I wanna have a little more in a, of a say in like what worked, what didn't work, and maybe it's a conversation at night, like we can rebook this one. I don't really need to rebook this one, especially when we have doubles. I'm sorry, I'm not doing a good enough job for you, John. Do you no, see no. that? That's Susan? wrong. That's wrong. That's, that's really not, that's not fair, that. Lance. I'm trying to make the show better. Why would you think I'm not trying to make the show better? <laughs> and Rebecca, that's, that's and Rebecca but, here is like, and Lance, why are you single? Oh, <laughs> that's what I was doing. <laughs> I was thinking, how are you married? Stand up for me. No, I'm actually but not. But all she's married. trying to be is the best. She's trying to bring the best Jenna to the table possible. To make it for And so us. what she's. I need you to look at me. So what I, what I think is that all she's saying is, can you help her be the best Jenna possible so she can deliver for you? I'm putting everything else on hold. I want this to work just like you're putting I mean, everything yeah. on hold and I, you want this to work. But I think it can work because I, I think you all have the ingredients. All I'm asking. Is clarity of direction, and and that because I've had so much. By the way, I've had great success, and behind that were many shows that failed, many shows that failed, and it's all about the clarity of the mission and what we're doing today. And you got to own that. You got to own that to the camera. You got to. It's got to permeate. It's got to come. It's got. It's got to come out of your skin. She's got to know what she's doing today, even if it's three sentences. That's what I believe. And you could have some unprepared. 
unpreparedness. I have all unpreparedness. I have, I know, listen. The, the Connor, you better have tomorrow's Connor, show ready at 3 yeah, o'clock today. Someone's going to bring you food or something. Was um, that Miss Ellie? Yes. No, she's our next guest. Oh, great. Bless you. No, but that's her <laughs> She's wonderful, and I love her. Terrific. Sure. Come on in, yeah. Bring Come her in. Bring, bring Miss Ellie in. I need an ally. No, but you can't be defensive. I'm not defensive. But you are when you say stuff like, well, why don't you just book the show? No, Good luck. I'm That's like being trying defensive. to bring it. I'm not being defensive. I'm, I'm really like... surprised you're defensive. See, she sees how Let it is. Let me tell you why I'm surprised you're defensive. Because, he was so first specific. of all, you're lovely. Thank you. You're just lovely. And I really do love your creativity. Have a seat, Miss Ellie. <laughs> I do love your creativity. I just see a bit of a schism with her being the best Jenna. That's that's the only thing. But in heat, you're getting a sense of it. I think when I speak to you at night, sometimes there's like a, just a smidge of frustration. And that's why I was trying to work that. it out. Like that's yeah. why I was trying to address. Like I heard that frustration, and now what I'm trying to say is that I, as opposed to just letting it play out in a TV role, what I'm trying to do is create the proper social media setting for that to play Agreed. out. Which is that, that's that's the Agreed. event. That's the Agreed. you know what? Um, here, but that's very few shows, like. CNBC, okay, the major, major League Baseball doesn't do this. There should be a Twitter account for the show on a given but day. Major League Baseball, they know what they're covering. They know they have all their stats. They know how to. They have their information, so they can go be as creative with their stats. And this happened, and so and so. They have. They know what they're there to do. That's all. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you say that i'm going to i'm going to respectfully disagree um but no no because i actually like i do live tweet baseball games like, I no do but that not, i'm not talking about tweeting i'm talking about i'm talking about twitter specifically i'm talking about social oh. i'm talking about on a social media platform there's there's a given day okay what's <laughs> I'll be quiet. No, I feel like I, 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 I mm -hmm. want to let this play out. I hope I win. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I don't win. know where it's going. No, you win anyway because it's all about it's all about the conversation. No, but I, you, you win because it's the Jenna Wolf show. And no, this but is where people... that doesn't matter because there won't be a Jenna Wolf show if, if it doesn't there succeed. Is. We're trying to work it out. All I'm trying to say is, is that I hear all of these frustrations that you have. And what my job is to try to do is my job is to try to figure out what's the best social media response to that problem as opposed to what's the t best TV response And I'm problem. only saying you give her a quarter of the TV because that's how that's, her brain is. That's how is. I know how to Just work. Just give her a quarter. That's only, I, right. I'm trying that's to give her 200% of the TV through social media. And that's, I'm saying, no, but I'm saying for her performance and how she has exactly. to, she needs a quarter of the TV for organizational skills to perform. But That's what I'm awesome. trying to say is that I think social media can be doing this much better. My my big bet is that our community, our General Wolf community, the people that we talk to all the time, the people that are helping us yeah. when they say reset the show, all of the people that are watching here on this interactive platform, the people who are right. you know giving us all of the commentary yeah. and are part of this, yes. that team working together is going to be able to outclass the largest organizations because those organizations are closed loop organizations. We're building a large Agreed. open loop, open totally uh, open agree. thing, and that's essentially when we did the malaria work. Like we did all of this malaria work, okay, and this is sort of my my fundamental yeah. background. I had volunteers all over the world working with me, and I had to coordinate all of these people in all of these disparate locations, yeah. all coming through with a single filter. And that worked better than the well-organized, you know. Right, but we have to get all those people. We we're, have... we're in the process. And I'm we saying have... you're talking right. distribution, and she's talking performance. So and yeah. they kept those. No, but these I'm people leaving, are going. No, 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 you're not. No, no, I'm two seconds. no, I'm good. We'll come back again. That's all I'm saying. It was so great. To I be feel here. like we didn't even scratch the surface with you, but you're, I, I find you so me. interesting. I don't even care about me. I don't find myself interested. <laughs> she, I have to go remind she my son. She played the nine chess things. match with me. Oh my and God! She you're looking at me. No, I didn't. Okay, what is it? No, queen to king. No, that's queen to king five. Queen to king five. Checkmate. Checkmate. That's not true. Susan comes. No, but, they, but let me. So can I just true, echo Jenna. what Susan's saying real quick? I don't oh, need. Right, of course. <laughs> listen, let me just say I don't need a bio of everyone that's coming on. No, I need a little so. more. I just need a little more prep time. I need to know like before nine o'clock at night. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Is that's why we're saying. But I also want to have a say, a little bit of a say. Right. So you're. We have that. I mean, like. That's we, what I would we, like to have. 
I that did. I don't have right now. Well, well, yeah, but we're getting that process down. Okay, and so as long as you're telling me we're getting there, then I feel like you that's guys need to a good sit closer. Where oh. I'm leaving. Here, I'm going to walk you out. We're going to take a quick break and take. This is staying alive. How are you taking pictures? Please don't cut this. Because my knee is killing me now. I mean, that must have been. I can't believe what we did. What did I remember? It was like a Seinfeld episode, but it was like not even about nothing. It was like something with nothing. Up high, up high. Uh, stand, jump up, and then take it. No, but we're here. Yeah, I'm going to tag going you. I think the picture. You can't tag me. I'm not, on, I'm not on any social media. You're going to be on it. You're about to get on social media. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you take it? Yes. He doesn't say what's to me. You don't hear it. Come see me before you. I'm sorry. No, my there's ass. nothing to be sorry Susan, about. we'll be in touch. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the worst thing. <laughs> Wait, do you guys work together also? Yeah, I think I know, 80% of our guests. So when he's going to be all set and if this thing doesn't work, he's going to be like, I have really grown my it's business. Gonna work. It's going to work. All I'm asking is so is that she knows what the motivation is, what we're doing today. That's all. And then let her take it. I love goodbye. you. Come on, Goodbye. Mwah. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.